Hello everyone, welcome back on my channel. I am Ashwini. Today we'll see one new real-time project on FIFA World Cup analysis. Okay, so we have this data set. We have different uh, six, six to seven tables in the data set. So the first two data is about World Cup groups 2022, then the World Cup matches, then the World Cup squads, then we have the international matches, World Cup matches and the World Cups. Okay. So we have these different tables in our data and then we have, I have just created the calendar dimension table. Okay. For the continuous dates. So we'll just uh, see the data modeling. So as per our requirement by for getting the data from different uh, tables, we need to create the relationship among all the tables and we need to create the data model. Okay. So here uh, you can see I have just created the data model like this. So mostly the connection between these tables are uh, from the team column. So we don't have any other column to connect in this data. So I have just connected this date, uh, these different tables by using the teams. Okay. So we can see this, we have the many to one relationship among world cups and world cup matches table on the year column. Okay. Then we have this calendar dimension table and uh, in from this calendar dimension table, we are connecting the date date to date connection between world cup matches and this uh, international matches table. Okay. Then we have World Cup groups table and that is connected to the international matches by team and away team. And this is the team and the home team. Okay, so this is the active relationship and this is the inactive. Then we have the World Cup groups and the World Cup matches table. And the connection between these two is on the team itself. The same like these two. Okay then we have this squads table so here also i have the connection between uh, world cup group and these squads on the teams itself okay so in this way i have just created the data model and uh, analyze the data so we can create the calendar dimension table for continuous date in this way we have two different functions in the dax for uh, the same calendar and the calendar auto so in the calendar we just uh, need to write the minimum date and the maximum date so here i have written for the the internal data set date so i am taking minimum date from the international matches table date column and uh, the max rate from the matches table date column okay so by using this thing i have just created the calendar dimension date column then we can see the dashboard. So this is the dashboard for uh, the Argentina. I have just created dashboard and showing the some insights about the history of the matches happened in the Argent for the Argentina. Okay. So this is the heading FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022. And this is the image of the Argentina flag. Then this is the Argentina team analysis. So here I'm showing the different cards for showing the total World Cups. World Cup wins for Argentina. World Cup wins as host. Only World Cup uh, 1 wins as a host. And then the FIFA rank in world for Argentina is 3. The total World Cup goals is 137 for this Argentina country. So there are so many players and the average age of the players is 26.97 years. We can say 26 approx. Okay. And then here I have analyzed World Cup goals by the year. So in which year how many World Cup goals are done for Argentina. Okay. So this is the in the 1930 they have the 18 goals. Then in the 1934 they have the two World Cup goals. Then we can say that in the 1930, they have the more number of the goals. Okay. And here I am showing the goals by player position. So we can see uh, the forward player position is having the more number of the goals as compares to the other midfielder and the defender player position. Okay. And here I'm showing the international goals by year. So here also we can see in the 1945, we have the more number of the Argentina international goals as 51 as compared to the other years. 
okay so we can take the inside for this from this start and here i'm showing the top players by number of goals so this is the top players top five players so the first top is lionel may the player is the captain and the goal is 90 then second is angel di maria so here also the goals is 25 and this is the third and uh, this this is the top five players by the number of goals okay so we have just added the one detail page so let's dive by giving the button and action so this is the team so these uh this is the filter and this is also the filter i have added then this is the card this is the card these all are the cards so whatever country i'm selecting from this filter it will replicate here it will show here okay so if i will select the argentina here i can able to see the argentina and argentina's squads goals and the world cup goals okay so if we have to compare the argentina with other countries then we can use this type of things okay so what i have did is i have just taken the background image for the canvas background then i have added this filter so this filter will work for only these cards and this filter will work for only these cards okay so how we can do that is we just need to go in the format section and we just need to edit the interaction between all these visuals okay so for this filter i have just closed this interaction for these four charts and for this filter i have closed the interaction between these charts okay so that we can filter according to these things okay so we can see now i am selecting the argentina here and i am able to see the argentina's goal so and here i'm i'm selecting the australia so we can just compare the argentina goals with the australia goals okay so here we can see 164 squared goals for the argentina and here we can see the 74 only so in this way we can just compare all those countries and their goals with the each other okay then we can just go back from this back button to this page okay so here so in this way we can just create the dashboard for the world cup analysis for particular country and we can just use the filter section also so that we can filter the data according to any country and do the any other things that we want okay so this is the uh, insights for the fifa world cup argentina so in this way we can create the dashboard and get the insights from the different data sets so you can also create the same I will just share the PBIX file and the data set in the description. You can download that data set from there and you can just create the same. And if you have any question regarding the same, you can just comment it down. I will reply to each and every comments. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my video, do like, share and subscribe my channel. And don't miss to press the bell icon so that you can receive notification of my upcoming videos. And you can learn the Power BI. Okay. So thank you for watching this video.